Never Tease a Weasel by Jean Condor Sewell Illustrated by Denman Hampson Read by Lisa Job. You can knit a kitten mittens, and perhaps that cat would purr. You could fit a fox with socks that exactly matched his fur. You could make a goat a coat with a collar trimmed in mink. Or give a pig a wig in a dainty shade of pink. But never tease a weasel. This is very good advice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could make a riding habit for a rabbit if you choose. Or make a turkey perky with a pair of high-heeled shoes. You could make a collie jolly with a gay crocheted cravat. Or make a possum blossom in an Easter Sunday hat. But never tease a weasel. Not even once or twice. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could build a mouse a house with a chimney made of bricks. You could give a dove some gloves and a set of walking sticks. But never tease a weasel. There, now I've said it. Thrice, a weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could give a mule a pool, and some jaunty swimming trunks. Send a case of Spanish lace to a pair of lady skunks. You could give a fish a dish for her favorite seaweed stew. Send three frogs, some sailing togs, and a yachting cap or two. But never tease a weasel. Now I can't be more precise. A weasel will not like it, and teasing isn't nice. You could bake a Drake a cake for his special birthday treat. You could braid a bug a rug. To make his bug house neat, you could feed a spider cider, or perhaps pink lemonade, or give a moose some juice to sip on in the shade. But never tease a weasel. Now remember what I've said. It's more fun to please a weasel. And be friends with him instead.